Now, from day one, when I was elected mayor, I've made it a priority to ensure that Chicago's convention and tourism industry was no longer second. There is a need for an event space. This is a public facility. DePaul will be a tenant, not the owner. And we don't need a full arena. We need it for a certain number of days a year. This works out beautifully in a way that's cost effective for us. Uh, DePaul will be a primary tenant in the facility during the winter months um, for the sport of men's and women's basketball. We will have concerts, which we did not have before, and entertainment for the big shows that never could do that before. Students will be able to take a short L ride from either of DePaul's campuses to attend a variety of events, academic convocations, performances, conferences, and commencements. Whether it be concerts or comedy shows or whatever those events um, typically are. Medium size and small conventions will now become an opportunity and a market we never participated in. McCormick Place's job is to draw business into town. It's to make money for the, for the city. We'll have a space that's guaranteed for the city of Chicago, whether it's our graduations, our sporting events, or community college graduations that we don't have today. We need, MPA needs, McCormick Place needs uh, the General Assembly space. Because DePaul has decided to become a long-term tenant, we can open up the resources to do Navy Pier. But we're contributing over 30 percent, more than a third actually, of the money to the project. We couldn't afford to build it by ourselves, just as DePaul couldn't afford to build a, a, a basketball arena all by themselves. By working together in really a classic public-private partnership, as much as anything, it comes closer to being the truth that DePaul is, is subsidizing us than, than vice versa.